Hello everyone, this is John Galt speaking here with a video for you guys, uh, my customers that uh, have purchased these products, any of these on the UE4 marketplace that I have created. Uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit in a more con condensed version of a fix, a possible fix. So if you guys go to my YouTube page, I did a live stream the other day where I did an hour long video about the steam host session failed, uh, fix for my products. So if you guys want a really extremely in depth discussion about what happened, uh, here, you guys can go watch this video, but I'm going to try to keep this one short because this is just going to get right down to wh what's broke and what, what I did to try to possibly fix it. So any of my products that you guys may have purchased, um, if you look in the description uh, of the product, I put a little note in here that says, as of this time, Epic has broken the Steam multiplayer in 4.27.2 and 5, which also means 5.1 and 5.2. And if you click here, you guys can read about the bug report. And so a lot of my customers have been getting with me and saying, hey, is there any possible way that we can get this to work at all? And uh, so I did some investigation, and I think I may have a solution. And so that's what we're going to talk about. So you guys can go read all about this bug report and all that stuff. Okay? So, and once again, go to my YouTube page. If you really want to get to the crux of what all my discoveries were, you guys can go watch that video. So what we're going to do is we are going to take one of my products here. We're going to use the simple capture the flag as the example. And uh, we are going to create a project in the newest engine version, which this would be this fix, just to be clear here, would be uh, it would work, I think, for every version that this is broken in. So that means 4.27, this fix should work all the way up to the most current engine version. So we're going to go ahead and create the most current engine version project. And if you open the project, I'll show you guys the fix first, and then I'll kind of demonstrate it. So this video will be a little longer than it has to be, but uh, it's not going to be an hour long, okay? So the fix is, I'll go ahead and get straight to the fix. So regardless of which product of mine you own, it doesn't matter if it's a simple capture the flag, the teams in class select, the multiplayer FPS basic, or the TPS basic. All of them uh, have the same Steam menu type system in them. So what you do is, in the project, go into the folder structure, and what you're looking for is the game instance. Okay, so in this simple capture the flag, there's a folder called blueprints and inside here, there's a folder called system and the game instance is prefixed with a GI and that should be true for every project. But just keep in mind what you're looking for is the custom game instance that is created for that project, regardless of which one it is. So you open the game instance. And when you're looking at the graph in whatever project you're looking in, what you're looking for is the host game section. And, you know, I tried to use a comment box here to comment these. And um, uh, that is uh, where it's at. So the fix right here where this create session node is, uh, every single project that I have ever created, and some of these were created in Unreal Engine 4.15, so it's been a long, long time ago. I have never hooked this top pin to anything. Never had to. The only thing I ever hooked up was the on success, and that's what opens your level and creates the session, uh, which allows uh, the Steam part to work. And then the on failure, I put a print string in and all it says is host game failed. So every time you try to host a game, it pops up in the upper left-hand corner that the, the host game failed. 
So go watch that long drawn out video and I talk more about it. But the fix is you simply unhook everything and take the top pin of this create session node and plug it in here. And then you compile it, save it. And then when you package the project out from there forward, uh, it should work. Okay, now let me know if it don't, because this is a temporary uh, fix until Epic actually gets the uh, the real bug fix. And just as a speculation on my part, I think that, it, that the on success pin is not firing, the on fail pin is firing, and this top pin is firing. So I think the problem is with this create session node, for some reason, the on success pin is not even firing. So in order to get it to work at all, you plug the top pin in here. And if you leave this one plugged in this way, what happens is it works, but it still puts the print string in saying the host game failed, even though I think this fixes it. Okay. So I just leave it unhooked. Okay. So now uh, that's the fix. That's all you got to do. Recompile it, save it. And that's the update. And I'm not putting it in the product on the marketplace because i'm not sure that this is the real fix so this is just a temporary way for you guys to possibly uh, get all these broken projects of working again so that you guys can uh, use these products as they were intended to be used which is for steam okay all right so now we're going to put it back broken and I want to demonstrate what the actual issue is and to show you guys the reason that I think it will work Okay, so we're going to go ahead and recompile it and save it. And that's the way that it is default off the marketplace. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, package this project for Windows. And I'm just going to quickly put this on my desktop here. And uh, hopefully this won't take too awfully long uh, to package. I don't want to keep you guys on this video forever, but, you know, this has been broken since 4.27. And Epic apparently hasn't figured out what exactly it is or, you know, whether they're going to fix it at all uh, or whatever. But this should get you guys working again, okay? Hopefully. Let me know. If it don't, shoot me an email, leave me a comment on my products page, and we'll do some more further investigations on it. Okay. And... It is done. So now we're going to go to the package project here and uh, we're going to open Steam up in the background because you do have to have, you know, there's a video linked in the, in the uh, uh, product description showing you guys about packaging the project and how to test it and all that. So if you haven't viewed that, be sure and do that. And so now that we have it hosted and we have our Steam open, we're going to go ahead and open this and run it. And we will see the little Steam indicator come up here. And we'll go to multiplayer, host game. And I'm just going to leave all this default and say host game. And you can see that's where it says host game failed. And that's it. That's the broken part. Okay. So uh, now what I'm going to do is hit control alt delete and go to the task manager and manually kill this so that we can go put in the fix. A temporary fix so let me delete the packaged version of this and we will go back into the project back into the game instance and we're going to unhook everything and hook this top pin in compile it save it and now we're going to repackage it again for windows and we'll put it back on the desktop here. And uh, this shouldn't take long, hopefully. Hmm. And... Done. So now we're going to go check it again. So we still have our steam running in the background and we're going to open this, run it again. 
and let's try to host a session this time multiplayer host game there's our little steam overlay coming up and now you can see that it actually made it into the world and we do not have that host game failed. Uh, so I'm going to pick a female red team. And if we hit the P key here, this brings up the player list in this project. And you can see that it actually has my, uh, my Steam username is showing up, which that's the indication to me that this is actually working now because, first of all, it didn't crash when we got in here. Second of all, our Steam overlay thing comes up and works. And third of all, it is actually showing my name as my Steam name. So try that fix out, guys, That you guys that have bought this, and, and validate that it works by referencing the video about packaging the project, how to test it with your friends and all that, because I don't want to cover that again here. And uh, let me know if that works as a temporary fix. And then at that point, it's in Epic's hands uh, whether or not, uh, you know, they actually put in a real fix to address uh, whether or not there's something wrong with that create session node or not. OK, but this should be enough to get you guys uh, working. OK, so with that, I appreciate you guys that have bought this product. Any of them. I appreciate it very much and look forward to, uh, you know, Maybe making some more new stuff in the future and providing support for those that have already purchased my products. Thank you very much.